Let's hope you're both doing well. Um, I'm going to start. Um, I'll, I'll come to you um, first, Lauren. I mean, I want to talk about uh, Chloe. She's such a character driven director. How much did that help having a filmmaker with that kind of prov provocative? Like, f f did it feel like you were kind of making an intimate film just on a on an epic scale? Oh, absolutely. Um, after watching the movie, I'm even more in awe that a, a movie like this is possible. I mean, she was able to like cradle this huge cast and she had this, she had a cast of very accomplished actors and she, you know, had to deal with people like me who are new to this industry. And she had no fear in interacting with everyone. She was it was intimate and she kept it real. And Camille, I mean, I love what Kingo does. So creating this dynasty in, in Bollywood as a means of fulfilling his eternal life on this planet. What do you think you do in that situation? Would you travel around, become different people? Or how would you tackle an eternal lifespan on this planet? I don't think I would do anything differently than Kingo. I think I would go establish the biggest like Bollywood uh, royalty line ever and I would buy my own plane and I would have the best time. I think what Kingo does with his powers and him being an eternal I think is the most fun thing you know that's what I liked about the character a lot of superheroes you know the the, the burden of superpowers weighs on them heavily the, 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 the need to do good. Kingo doesn't really have that as much. He just wants to have a great time so I think I would do exactly what he did and mm. uh, Lauren I, I was just I mean obviously we have just well just talking to both of you now we've got a superhero of Indian descent we have a, our first sort of deaf superhero in the film we have a, a gay superhero a Mexican superhero I'm sure you've both fielded so many questions today about the film's diversification but it does mean something doesn't it and films like Eternals will mean so much to to so many people as a result it must be so great to to be a part of a film like this yes yes I'm really inspired and at the premiere, whenever we were walking the red carpet, there were deaf people that essentially showed up at, at the event. They weren't included, but they were there. And there's this huge wall like behind us, behind the press. And some people couldn't see me. They didn't, they knew I was there, but like above the fence, I could see people, their eyes, and they were like finger spelling things over <laughs> the fence. And so to be able to see that, I, I just realized it is so important. This film is important. And just the fact that it was made and that there is now a deaf superhero born in the MCU, finally, it's huge. Mm. Uh, my, my final question to you, Camille. I mean, there's obviously brief mention uh, in the movies of the Avengers. And obviously, as fans of the MCU, we all want to see you guys team up with them in the future. Who do you think uh, Kingo would most like to, to, to meet of the Avengers and why? And for you personally, who do you most want to say hello to? I would love to meet Thor. Kingo would love to meet Thor. Um, and I would love to work with Chris Hemsworth. You know, I think that's a very, very, what he's brought to that character is strength, but he's also very funny. There's so many different sides to him. So I think those two, Kingo and Thor, would make a great combination because they both have that arrogance to them. And I think they would both sort of want to be the alpha dog. So I think that could be a very fun dynamic. Yeah, it's hard to know if they get on or hate each other, really. <laughs> yeah, I think it would be both at the same time. Like respect, but a little bit of hatred. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for your time. And hopefully, you know, for the, the next internals, we can do this in, in person. Who knows? Brilliant. <laughs> hopefully. Nice. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.